Ended Monday afternoon right here on Super Screen Television and we are right on to Sports Motors. How was your weekend? I guess it went pretty well, especially in the sporting world. Yes, there's fire in Europe and there's also fire right here in Ijebode, Nigeria. We'll be taking a look at what is happening at the Women uh, Football League that is having the super seats right there at the Otumba Dikbo Dino Stadium. As I speak with you, Delta Queens and Nido Queens have started uh, the slugout. Uh, it's still 0-0. We'll be taking a look at the Super 6 and the way forward. We'll also bring you into the fall of what happened over the weekend. And um, either we like it or not, Ayimba are on the verge of leaving the Confederation Cup because they're supposed to have a game on Wednesday. As we speak, they're still in Nigeria. And we'll look at some few things that has happened after the National Sports Festival. The Sport Writers Association of Nigeria are complaining that um, the welfare better down to its members or her members were one of the very worst they've ever seen. We'll take you straight to Europe where there is fire on the mountain. 12 teams have decided to see the way from the UEFA Champions League to form what they call the Super League. We'll look at that and the application and we'll also take you straight into uh, the EPL, the La Liga and not forgetting the Bundesliga and some other juicy stories within the reach of the Super Past super sports patterns are uh, run down will come to you. My name is Tillman Prince of the Visa, and the comment of Duke. I'm not alone in the studio this afternoon. I have, as usual, the electable ones, and then we we'll shall talk well. Let me introduce Francisca Wood. Francisca, hi, B. I'm very well, thank you. Good afternoon to you. How was the weekend? Very well, thank you. Splendid. It was a hectic weekend, but. We thank God anyway. We are back. Let's talk sports. Yes, yeah, so this needs to be on set. <laughs> All right. Because you are smiling. Yes, I'm smiling because it's good to smile. Like what yes, Mr. Bruce will say. It Mr. Bruce will say, when you meet with somebody who doesn't smile, give him a smile. Exactly. Good. Yeah. So it's good to smile. Yeah, I also have with me here Aziz of uh, Aziz. How is it? Good afternoon, Frisco. It's a good day to talk sports again, like Francisca said. Yes, it's a good day to talk sports. And let's quickly tell our viewers, those of you that have smart TV, those TVs that takes internet, those TVs that you can touch and turn your channel. Super Screen is on every smart TV you can think of. I can't really get all the names across to you, but I'll give you some. Hisense, Brivia, Philip, um, LG, um, Sony, you name them. TV as I speak with you are on those set via the aid of Roku. So if you're on the net, uh, you don't need to get an antenna, you will see Super Screen program live and direct. Francisca, mm. Super 6. Mm. Uh, we had a lot of issues <laughs> as has got to do with uh, Super 6 come on or not. But Super 6 is eventually here. Yes, finally it is here. Uh, la uh, from last week, um, Wednesday, was it on Wednesday or Thursday? We learned that Edo states were the earlier birds um, to land Akira because the, the the distance is in yeah, the very short. Yeah, so eventually, Once you get to exactly, you are at Akura. So eventually, all of the teams, the six teams, they landed yesterday, and today happens to be the day that um, they kick off um, the program, Super Six, that everyone is actually looking forward to. You just mentioned a game. That is ongoing. I guess it's a first half or um, second half they are playing because the first game actually started at 2 p.m. That's um, I get um, Sunshine Stars and sorry, Bayosa and Edo Queens. They are the first people um, they are to play. I'm just waiting to see how that um, results will pan out today. And you know what? At this point, I'm just thinking. I'm remembering. Um, late, um, just a uh, late blessed memory, um, Henrietta Okegwe, because she's one so that this kind of event, she'll try as much as possible to ensure that everyone participates in it. So wherever you are, Henrietta Okegwe, may God bless your soul, because you really did well when it comes to female football in Nigeria, especially the women's league. But however, we have to move on, we have to continue. For those who don't know the reason for the Super Six, is actually to determine who becomes um, the champion of the women's league because it was supposed to go um, 18, um, 28 games, but along the line it was stopped because we need to get a um, representative for the CAF uh, Women's Champions League. So this one will determine who is the winner and also the teams that will qualify for, two teams to qualify for um, CAF Women's Champions League. So let's wait and see what happens um, today. <laughs> for you, Aziz, um, it, 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 it's interesting to note that uh, the women football 
is getting the spotlight, even if not as much as we expected mm -hmm. it. But the fight for the ticket for the first Champions League, Women Champions League in Africa, mm -hmm. it's it's something quite interesting yes. to see. Yes, very, very interesting to see. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. And year after that, I want to see how well we can develop. It takes time, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure with time, we can always go on and on and on and reach the elite level from Europe and all the rest of the world. But they're, they're, they're doing good. They're doing good. Uh, NWFL now is on, the, on, a, on a good platform too. I think it's even, I would say it's better than the men's league anyways right now. Yeah, it, 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 it is more organized than the men's league. I, I, I'm yeah. serious. I, I, I look at the women's league in as much as it is uh, Are you it is about in terms of organization. Yes, or, organization. Okay, organization. And it structure. is structure. It, structure. They have a, a very very designated structure, yeah. and I like that. Yeah. At least I know I can I can come up and, and and look at it again, and I'm sure I'm going to see something that is worthwhile. Unlike what's what, the difference between the men league and the men? The men league the lacks structure. Lacks everything except talent. Okay. So I I really don't like seeing the men's league. It annoys me sometimes. Wow. Nothing is certain. Nothing is. Oh. No, one thing is certain. You must win or you lose. <laughs> <laughs> you are at home. <laughs> God okay, bless Pascal, me. Let me come to you. Let me come to you. Um, kudos to Aisha Faladi. She's putting in her very best to see that uh, the world knows that yes, there are abundant talent in the female angle. From your take, uh, what sort of championship are you expecting to see? And so far, so good. Uh, we've not heard anything about the prize money. Yeah, we haven't, and we are looking forward to hear that. That's think, my concern. Yeah, that will actually be talked um, at the end of the um, of the competition. But itself. was it at the end? Uh, it should have come. I remember the last time I, I attended the press see, conference at uh, the Kaja some yeah, two or three years yeah, ago. Uh, we were told what each participant would get. See, um, Principal, the way it actually came, you wouldn't want to blame the organizers of the Women's League because we never thought that we're going to get ourselves in. As, as, as we speak now, we ought to be playing the second stanza of the league. We're boxed uh, box into the corner. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's just the case. But believe me, you. I trust these hands. They are competent um, people, especially um, um, the chairperson himself, talking about Aisha Falode, who has really, really been um, spot on when it comes to um, administration for the Women's League. I'm waiting to see. The, the truth is, the competition is going to be highly competitive, honestly speaking, because those teams are really talking tough for themselves. FC Robo, Edo Queens, Bayosa is saying, no, we are going to be the champions. Delta Queens as well. Rivers in, uh, Rivers Angels as well. And we can, um, then the La Sunshine Queens too. Sunshine Queen, they have never participated in anything Super 6 before. So this is an opportunity for them is to do Is it because they're the host? Uh, well, whatever the case is. But for the fact that they are competing, I feel it's going to be highly competitive this time around. I'm just waiting to see how it's going to spend. All right. Um, that, that's, it's going to go. That's a very detailed one for Francisca. And we, we, we want to say that all road leads to the Otumba Dikpo Dino uh, Stadium right there in Ijebugode. And our colleagues that are there have started sending a report that it has been a fantastic uh, ambience where everything is going according to plan. And the NWFL is really showcasing what female uh, football should look like in Africa taking the lead. And I'm very sure that the two representatives that will come after uh, this period of tussle and hustle by the teams will be the very best. And uh, I saw uh, Tobet, Tobet Chiku, uh, leading uh, the officials for the game into the stadium for inspection yesterday. And I know a thorough job will be done. Away from that, um, I need to talk about something that's quite interesting. Um, Aziz, yes. it's no longer news that um, Ahmed Musa has signed for Kano Pillars. <laughs> But what is fascinating is that he said he will play for free. I like that. It is giving back to the society. Like he said in himself, yes. he said he, he wants to give back to Kano Pillars for what they have given to him for his success and all. So it, it's a good move. He, he has earned a lot while in Europe. So I don't know. Will Kano Pillar even be able to pay him even if they want to? That's a question. Francisca is smiling. <laughs> I, I why think, wouldn't they pay him? I is think they can, can they is. really pay him? No, no. It's not about why wouldn't they pay him. Can they pay him well, if they want to pay him? They will pay him. The governor will pay him if they want to pay him. That's where the problem is. Yes, the, the governor will The governor will does pay. not own the club. Yeah, so this is will, where the problem is. Because in Nigeria, you cannot take off um, government, uh, government I mean, football, from yes. football. That's yes, we just agree. But, but if you personalize it as a governor, I expect you to say the state government will pay him. 
state government, who owns, no. who is in charge no. when it comes to state <laughs> no, activities? No, no, Please, no. who is in charge? It doesn't work that no, way. No, honestly, when it comes to, but when it comes to state activities, it who is work. in charge? The governor is the a representative governor of the people. In charge. Yeah. So if you say the state government will pay him, it makes more sense than saying the governor. The governor. But who is the number one citizen of no, the Francisca, state? It doesn't work that way. No, let's no. We have to be real. Like but in Lagos State now, who is the number one citizen of Lagos State? That's your number one that citizen of the state doesn't mean that you. Some no, no, So what are we saying? No. The governor no. will be is in charge. Is no. at the end of affairs. Whatever like happens actually, in the state. Actually, administratively, the state government. The state government should pay. It's not the governor. Not the governor. Because but who is at the end of affairs? The governor is. So the money does not belong to the governor. The money does not belong to the governor. Sure. He's only managing the fund on behalf of the state. Well, the truth is, I'm not saying that i'm saying what i'm saying here is that whatever the case is is a professional league for crying out loud so whether or not um the governor or the states i don't know but there should be a, even whatever the case is a stipend even if it's not, it not that, that huge yes, that, that, but that's, then, that's, that's what i'm going is, to it chose not to have no, any that's time. what i'm going to if the state decide to pay musa mm. and he donates such money to charity background it would make more sense than saying he doesn't want to connect. That was what I was about. That's it's because it's a professional, to... because it's a professional league, and for whatever that is being um, done professionally, there should be a form of attachment to it. That's what I feel like. Obviously. But LMC are coming out to say that they have, I think they have a rule, there is a rule, um, a guideline that in such a contract, someone like Ahmed Musa, that they don't he doesn't need to be paid there was how a way and manner in which they tweaked it i wish i have my phone where i read it i'll read it out to our yes perhaps um the next um our next show i'll just there was a way they tweak it and they said in this case that um is it's they are even doing the player a favor because it's the player who has agreed that he wants to join the nigerian league so that's what they were saying anyways the yeah. question i have to ask now is it a good precedent Yes, because, because we're trying to encourage our players who don't have club okay. to come back out there to come back home to help the league grow. And you're telling me that somebody who's going to play for three or four months because he's larger than life, you say, he, he will tell you, don't pay me. Don't worry. Don't pay me. I did come. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that, that's just why I see it. But the next Is thing, it a good precedent? No, well, I don't know. I, for me, I feel Ahmed Musa is in the best position to answer this question because for the fact that he has agreed, and just for our listeners out there, he's, he happens to be the sixth um, player that will come back to Nigeria to play for the league. We saw the likes of Rashidi, Yekini, um, uh, um, Amunika, and the rest of them. So he's the Are sixth. Are you there? Yeah. So for the fact that I feel... Ahmed Musa is the one in the best position to say, okay, this is the reason why I am doing this. This is the reason why I'm not collecting money. And this is the reason why you should pay me. That's what I feel. All right, we'll get there. We'll see how it goes. But I believe that coming back up to play for the league is a good footage in the right direction. And we do hope that uh, some other players will follow suit. Yes, talking about following suit, Swan has given his own assessment of the just concluded um, National Sports Festival. And um, you, you, you can't take away the sport writers um, from any organized event when it comes to sports in the country. And um, they've rated the games low in terms of welfare package, in terms of infrastructure. <laughs> in terms of infrastructure, it was okay. But in terms of welfare package, why are you laughing? You're la I don't know why you're laughing, Francisca. You're a bad lady. I don't know why you're laughing. No, no, I will say it on air. I will not say it on air. Don't worry. As is, you might not understand. As is, I'll tell you later. But, but. But. No, no, it is you. I'm not going to ask this. It is you. Your take on oh, this. God. Memo, your take on this communique. Oh, my good God. No, please, you don't do this to no, me. No, no, your take on this communique. Ask her. I'll as get this. to ask this. But your take on this well, communique now. Well, I'm well, part of the association. Yes. Eh? I'm also part of it. Sport Writers Association of Nigeria. I don't know on the basis of why they are saying welfare package. package. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, sorry. I have to join you. I, I, to join you. I, I, I understand <laughs> why you're choking, <laughs> but I still want you to assert your own opinion. Well, um, honestly, truth needs to be told. The truth is, you as you lay your bed, so that's how you're going to lie. I think. 
for Sport Writers Association. I am part of that association. I feel the reason why we get this kind of treats because we've not placed ourselves on a particular standard. If you place yourself, even the association is, itself is not kind, it's not nice to its members. So what else do you expect from people who organize um, sporting activities? They will treat you the same way you treat your members. So I feel that they have not placed their, themselves on a particular standard that people will say, oh, when we are inviting Sport Writers Association, this is what we are going to do for them. Mm. When they begin to do that, then all of these things will not come out. As is. That's my take. She, she has just hit the nail on the head. Right. Let's, just, let's just go to the next agenda, please. Ah. I, there's nothing else to say. You don't want to come into this show. At all. At all. I am with them. Oh. Ah. I am supporting what the Sport Writers Association has done. Well, I don't even want to spill anything. Let's just move forward, Prince. Well, we're moving forward. Ago, let's go. We about, well, let's move on. We were talking about Swan mm -hmm. here yes. two or three weeks ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. And almost the same thing is what we stated. We didn't even know this was going to come up. Mm -hmm. So, it's just... You see, you see what I'm looking at the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to note that wow. uh, <laughs> the Sport Writers have given their own verdict and um, you can't take that away. Uh, that's where we'll stop right now. We're going on a quick break, but we'll come back. We'll continue with events that are really unfolding uh, within Europe. We're back very soon.